actually had some pretty good runs at, since Waterfall's inception. I know at, at Let's Go, I believe he made a D3 to D1, maybe D4 to D1. Nice. And then at Shine, he had a pretty good run too. Um, earned a couple solid wins. And he's pretty solid against Pika too. I think that's probably his forte. Nice. And Kaz, I kind of, I think, sort of botched that edge guard. It looked like he kind of just flew out with like a weak nair and didn't get the double jump first time. So when you saw Sue go for that, he walked off and did an up air. Obviously, he, that's not what he was, he was going for. Um, you so, see it a lot with LD. He'll get the jab and he'll walk off and do a rising nair. And that's yeah. a good kill option once you get the jab off stage since you can't really land the up smash. Right. Oh, and that's a good kind of hesitation from Stu. He doesn't, at first, doesn't jump into that nair, but... It's always interesting to me how Fox has approached this matchup because it's just so. All right. Oh, it does it. Yeah. It's just okay. so hard to. Once you get touched by Pikachu, it's so hard to kind of survive. So. Well, the, the name of the game is to not get hit, right? Yeah. It's the, the old adage, but really with Fox, you have the tools to not get hit. It's a very difficult matchup, but you have to take advantage of Fox's strong neutral tools and combo Pikachu to death, basically. Yeah, once or you wall him out. You see a lot of different styles. LD is the combo him to death style um, against some people. But sometimes you'll see LD play against like Bonte and just wall him out with forward airs and back airs. Yeah, I think that's kind of what LD did uh, to Alvin at SmashCon. Yes, yes. You know, he's, his spacing was so tight. Um, takes amazing precision. That cord is, yeah, the, <laughs> the mic cords can be, yeah, just leave it in front of you, need be. Okay. So, um, it started off pretty close. Stu looked fairly solid, but Kaz got three really quick gimps, and that's kind of the name of the game of this matchup, is, you know, it can just, it, it's kind of a cliche, but Fox Pika, obviously, Fox's stocks can melt away. Yeah, exactly. And even Stu there started off with like a really nice combo, but then, you know, a lot of shield options. You have to be very good with Fox to not get shield grabbed um, by Pikachus. I, I think, personally, I like to play as Fox, but my shield uh, pressure game just isn't quite there. And a lot of times, like, you'll see a, a Fox down air on shield or jab and even get grabbed after that first jab. Yeah. Um, one underrated aspect of this matchup is how well the players know each other too. You see, like Alvin went into it. He didn't. He hadn't really played LD. He played like a couple money matches and whatnot. But you see somebody like Alvin. There's not a lot of foxes to play against in Peru. Yeah. Um, he's the main fox there. Versus someone like Hero that has played, you know, LD a few times, or you know, even myself play LD a bunch and you kind of learn some of the tricks that Fox uses to extend his stocks and once you eliminate those tricks it really becomes hard because like Fox can do things to make it back but I believe if Pika plays it right they won't work right okay so there's sort of like always the ability for Pika to successfully get that edge guard right though if Fox has a lot of mix-ups yes once you know the mix-ups though it's you can kind of cover it. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to get back. Stu looking a lot better this game. Oh, and that's a good tech toward uh, Pika. You can see that he was looking for that tech away. Uh, Pikachu was looking for that tech away. That's so easy right there. Stu tilt. seems uh, too quick to try and punish to run in when he gets a when he gets out of a dangerous situation. You want to reset the neutral and start over again. Yeah. If, if you get hit or grabbed by Pika and you're not dead, step back, you know, refresh, try and win the neutral again. Yeah. Don't, don't, like, don't instantly run into it trying to punish. Try to play neutral because that's where Fox thrives in this matchup. And you could see that Stu, like, between his uh, last two stocks, he just took that a breath and this is not looking good for him. Yeah, yeah you can't oh. land that down air on shield right in front of Pika. Yeah. You just get grabbed. So, like, what do you do in that situation? Do you, you try to shine? Can you shine the grab?